Hi guys, the next stage of my setup is going to be installing Astro Tortilla, which is a plate solver. This is just brilliant software that rules out the need for doing the old two or three star alignment to determine exactly where your mount is pointing. Essentially, the computer will take a, an image with your camera and it will compare the pattern of the stars that it can see with the stars in its known library of images. And it will be able to, in a single image, determine exactly where you are and then it can re-slew your mount to where it's supposed to be. So again using Google we'll go here and we will download the file which is there. It takes you over to SourceForge. So I've already had downloaded. So I'm going to do a little bit of the config in this because it, it part of the install is to download the appropriate uh, sky maps if you like. So we'll just turn on through here. So this is this astronomy.net is what I'm talking about. So this for this stage, what we need to do is we need to know some things about your telescope. So my telescope that I'm using at the minute is a Quattro 200 and combined with my Nikon camera that gives me a field of view of this. So this is asking for the widest field of view that I have available, which is going to be the 1.68 so if I look down through the list I'm definitely in the degrees so that is going to be the oh, oh sorry I remember to go on 1.68 to 2 degrees so I'll be picking that and the lowest is uh, reading the documentation there they recommend 20% of your narrowest field of view so that's 1.68 Zero 02 for me, so if you follow the math there, that is 20% of 1.02 equals this. And as that is in degrees, it will unlikely to show up here. So if we convert it to arc minute, and let's just multiply it by 60, that gives us around 12. So our narrowest field of view, if we scroll up, we should see 8 to 12. So I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick the 11 to 16 and then when we click next this will start downloading okay so we'll hit next and just uh, accept the default settings for this so we'll click install so now it's going to start downloading additional files um, I'm going to pause the video because this is going to download a number of gigabytes of files but it will essentially just run through like this and I will resume once it's finished. Okay, so that's it just finishing up now. It took around 10 minutes. Um, not a great link out here in the shed, but it, it will do for now. So the program, oh, this is just going to be, we'll just click, click, kind of where it'll go. So there is plenty of information on various forums about how to set this up. I actually have a, I printed a PDF of one of the so I will share this on my website for anybody else. This is comes from Light Vortex. It does some wonderful tutorials. If you want to go and look it up, it's step by step with screenshots, tells you how to do everything. It's a fantastic guide. So we're downloading some bits and pieces. So I will pause the recording again. Okay, so now the uh, install has finished. So I'm gonna untake readme and I will launch it. I'm gonna try and do some basic settings here just straight out of the guide again and I will be transferring these from my previous setup so I had downscaling scale minimum on mine was 0 0.70 scale maximum apologies scale minimum was 1.0 that was from my previous scope scale maximum is 1.75 I did a wee bit of rounding up there search radius we're going to reduce that to 15 and then we're going to paste in this into the custom options point and I realize that I have missed a 2 off the end and that is everything and that is it all configured uh, I'll show some usage of that later on all the best